I think that right now everybody sees that there's a problem. And of course, the protests that are spreading now throughout very much, you know, various cities, the Occupy protests, are just one example, one expression of that frustration and anger. And college students, you know, college students are having trouble paying for college. They, they, their parents are unemployed. We have a high unemployment rate. You know, the median income for the average American family has dropped. So these kids have enormous trouble paying for college. You know, they're seeing larger classes. High school students are seeing shorter school days. I mean, the United States needs to beep up education to compete in a global world. And what we're doing is seeing a squeeze on people's ability to fund education and at the high school and elementary school level to learn because they're in bigger classes, shorter days, teacher cuts. So people are aware in their everyday lives. You know, anybody that's had anything wrong with them has had to de deal with a dysfunctional healthcare system. So there are real things about real people's lives that make them know that there's a serious problem. What I think though is that, and what I hear from students is what can we do? You know, the, the, there's so much money on the other side. They're so powerful because everybody knows how powerful they are. Ironically, that often produces a feeling of more disempowerment on the part of ordinary people. How can I fight this behemoth? And the, the job of those who are working with young people and everybody else, I think, is to say to people, just do it, all right? We've done it before. We've made change in this country. We, can, we have the right to get out in the streets. We have the right to call our Congress people. We have the right to do all those things that can press Congress and state representatives to make change. They're not going to want to. Right? The people who are representing us have been successful in the old system of private funding. They're the ones that have won the, the, the lottery. You know, they're the ones that have taken enough money to be able to win their races but they still have to depend on votes. And we don't have the money, but we do have the people. And if we can organize and have a social movement that's strong enough in this country, you know, in farming communities, on college campuses, in big cities, throughout the country, people no longer feeling, I'm so frustrated, I'm so angry, but I don't know what to do, instead flipping that and saying, wait, this is the United States. There's lots I can do, and I'm going to join with other people to do it and press those members of Congress and those representatives at the state level to vote for something that's very simple, public financing of elections. It's an option which would mean you and I and lots of ordinary Americans who don't have millions of dollars or connections to wealthy people could run for office. And when we get in there, we will be listening to our constituents, not to the big funders, because we'll be independent of the big funders. And that may sound like pie in the sky, but as you know, that kind of public financing system already has been in place in the United States in a whole lot of places, including New York City, by the way, where they've had for years, since 1988, a public financing system, which gives people who want to run the option of being able to run without depending on big funders. And it's a, I think it's a very radical and yet as American as apple pie kind of change very concrete, very specific, and it would make a world of difference to all the things that we care about. I mean, if, if you're an environmentalist, you could run for office and advocate for the environment. If you're a, a labor person, you could run for office and talk about creating jobs, something that we haven't heard a whole lot about. You know, if you are uh, someone who, who's involved in, uh, in foreign, thinking about foreign policy, you could say no to a war in Iraq, for example, something that our politicians didn't have the guts to do, again, because they weren't able to listen to the American people. They are tied in a system which makes them dependent on their funders. Mm -hmm.